my first company i have applied for is microsoft in my 31 like for the internship i have applied for microsoft and i couldn't pass the first round i have applied for amazon after my third technical round i got rejected and then i have applied for flipkart flipkart i have reached till hr round but in hr round i have lost yeah they were happy my sister was happy but my mom yeah she was like yeah it's okay but still it hyderabad yeah that type of thing will be there right yeah don't aim for a company if you have skills automatically you'll be getting a company Hello Sakila thanks for joining us today thank you for calling me here yeah and uh, yeah this is a continuation of our series of edist champs where we are taking you know previously successful students at edist and we just like to you know talk to them so sakila if you could just you know tell us about yourself like uh, what's your background and uh, what are you doing these days okay i'm sakila and i'm from g narayanama institute of technology and science from hyderabad and my native is also hyderabad and i'm from computer science field presently i'm in 42 like my last semester of the college and yeah i have done previously internship in my 32 summer holidays in jp morgan chase and now in my 42 sem also i'm continuing the internship with them yeah i have got a good time offer from them too and yeah i have tried for other companies too i have got an offer from aro and yeah i have tried for a couple of other companies like flipkart amazon yeah but uh, sometimes we can't reach that right and coming to technological like technical side i mostly code in java and when coming to web technologies i'll be using mostly python frameworks and i'm in touch with applications like with the android studio also Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Out. That's uh, you're an all-rounded engineer there, I guess. Uh, that's nice to hear. So you know, before we even come to JP Morgan, which is a dream company for a lot of people, Adobe you've said is again a dream company for a lot of people. We'll come to that. Could you just guide us about your programming journey? Like, how did you get started in programming, and how you kept improving? Yeah. So in my first year, I don't know seriously like what is programming. Like, there will be something like computer programming and all. just we had c language as a curriculum like as academics we had that and we used to do some small lab programs that's it in my second year i remember when we are doing data structures where we having linked list and all as part of our lab too one of my friend was like have started the coding this linked list and stacks these type of questions in hackerai and she reached out to me for doubts it's that way that i have started learning and doing in other platforms to like computer programming so in second year due to this data structure and course and due to my friend i have started actually programming these questions and yeah in second year i have started in that way i have started in hacker and platform and little bit started in linkport and in 31 like uh, as the placement officers i have also suggested edist platform and yeah from that time we have started edist and yeah from the first job we were part of java bridge course and where we have started with small programs uh, like for the computer programming and all and from there actual computer programming i have started i can say yeah and yeah there are different data structures and different algorithms and all yeah as a part of curriculum and with these things i have started my journey to computer programming brilliant brilliant and what are the different companies that you applied for as you said you know you don't get into all of them so it will yeah. be very useful for you know people to hear your rejections as well because there are rejections on the way to getting acceptance so can you just share what are the different companies you applied for yeah my first company i have applied for is microsoft in my 31 like for the internship i have applied for microsoft and i couldn't pass the first round first coding round itself yeah they were given three questions but i was able to solve two questions and the other question i still remember it's three question like they have given like pre order and in order we have to write the post order something of that kind yeah by that time i was not that familiar with that and my second company i have applied is jp morgan through college yeah i have got through it internship and then i have applied for amazon amazon i have went till three technical rounds yeah after my third technical round i got rejected and then i have applied for flipkart flipkart i have reached till hr round but in hr round i have lost and then i have applied for adobe and adobe was yeah successful yeah that's it. i have applied for these companies too now brilliant brilliant that's that's so good to see so you mentioned that you have applied for all of these and what was the difference between the company that you got selected and you did get selected like is it just bad luck on that day or was it lack of knowledge like what was your attitude when you didn't get selected you know how did you use that to to mold yourself for the selections 
as of i said first uh, rejection was microsoft and first company also i have applied for that and i have understood my mistake also there like i was not up to point at that time i have understood that i am okay with the basic data structures but not with trees graphs and all so i know that i have to improve there and from that point i have started working on those concepts too i have worked on that and yeah i was working on that and in coming to flipkart i think uh, it's my luck factor like because of which i have not got selected and yeah then coming to amazon i felt that i was little weak at os concepts like uh, yeah the coding side was good but not the side like some of the os concepts i couldn't answer like i think because of that also i got the rejection so from that time i have also started like checking the computer science basic concepts like os dbms oops or what not like compiler design and those all things and because of me covering that like amazon i have given it in somewhere near august i guess and then adobe i have given it in february and i can find the change in between those two companies like in adobe i was able to answer these questions also like with confidence and yeah i see that improvement in that time in that period brilliant 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 so you you mentioned that you know somewhere around like i think 31 is when you started you know programming competitively like you know using edist could you just you know share you know with everyone here like how the edist program you know help you out in cracking these companies yeah the first thing i say is like whenever we start competitive programming or doing anything if we do with a group of people it will be helpful like we'll be maintaining some consistency too like in my case that might not be case with everyone but for me before three months like before doing this else i used to do but it's not that frequent like whenever i have time i used to do something and i used to leave them in that way but when this else got introduced like all my friends also have started doing that and we used to like whenever we don't get a question we used to discuss with our friends in that way like we see that some of our friends have solved that but we are not able to solve that then in lunch breaks or sometime we used to discuss like how did you do that and after we are doing also like have you done it in the same approach or have you gone through different approach we used to have those discussions like there we also have chat with friends so anytime have you done that what's your approach like we used to talk with each other and yeah i also like the edist the streak feature like yeah we used to check our streak like we are continuously doing that and yeah after doing that also like we used to check Okay, we have this much thing. What all problems we have done? Uh, do we all remember that? And did we do it wholeheartedly? Or uh, copy pasting type of things also? And we have to do any other logics in the previously done questions? And all we used to check a lot. Yeah, because of the series, I can say that whole group of friends have also started that, and we used to discuss a lot. And we also have some specific time for that, and we used to do that. So that helped a lot. brilliant brilliant so you know you got multiple offers like you got you know from two dream companies a lot of students are you know always aiming for that you know how was your family's reaction when they found out that you had like you know these dream companies being uh, selected into yeah they were happy my sister was happy but my mom yeah she was like yeah it's okay but still hi baba yeah that type of thing would be there right yeah <laughs> like she is also happy but yeah she doesn't have much knowledge about the field Yeah, but she was happy that I was. Uh, yeah, everyone will be happy, right? I mean, the first job is the most memorable. Like that, that's what I'm saying. Like, so yeah, when you get that, uh, yeah. So when you get that internship, you said that you interned with uh, JP Morgan, right? Uh, how was that experience, especially in your third year? You know, going and I think not everybody gets a chance. Like, in fact, majority of you know third year students in India don't get a good chance of interning. You got a chance to intern with a company like JP Morgan. What was that experience like? Yeah, my first experience before this actually due to this corona and all, like they were actually thinking like actually it's for two months. The internship was for two months in May and June, but uh, because of this corona and our exams getting postponed, like we thought that it might get cancelled. But at last it happened in June, but it's for one month actually. So yeah, it was good, uh, but we had a tension that small tension that we may lose this internship. Yeah, but for, uh, we were fortunate to do that. and i have really like the culture of jp morgan might be other companies also might have the same thing because i have not experience i can't say that but here the corporate culture and all i have like that and they giving importance for what we think to and whatever ideas we give them they'll be considering each and everything yeah and i have understood like how it goes behind the scene like in companies like i used to have a doubt they have like if we take any company they'll be having an app what will be they working for years and years on that and what is the thing it's going on in the background and having this with the organization what are the different levels how will the approvals be and 
yeah, what is the process exactly in the background of the movie? And yeah, during my internship, I have uh, personally set a talk one on one with some of the employees too when I was in the organization. Yeah, through that too, I have understood more about the organization. Brilliant, brilliant. There is, you know, one thing about students when they start programming and start coding, like they, everybody wants to, you know, go into a dream company. But uh, a lot of people, when they start preparing, with after two three weeks, uh, they feel demotivated because it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit tough. But I remember you maintained a streak on the Edis platform for more than a hundred days. I think it reached a hundred twenty, hundred and thirty or so. Yeah. It was a crazy streak that you were on. Uh, how did you keep yourself motivated to, you know? Continuously program every day. Like, what was the secret behind that? Yeah, for me, uh, starting, I have not thought that I'll be doing that streak, like uh, continuously doing for that much time. But whenever I have started, I found like tricky problem where I want to sit and do that. Like, I got interest in that while I was doing. Yeah, I don't know. I have fell in love with that thing. I guess. Yeah, because uh, thinking differently and doing it. Yeah, it has interest in me. So nice. I have what do you say to people, you know, who find it difficult in the initial periods? Like, what what would you be telling them? Yeah, first thing I say is uh, competitive programming. I actually wanted to say about this: competitive programming might not be everyone's uh, like like everyone can do that. Some of them might have good technical skills, like on technology is too. And I see people who do very well there, but because of competitive programming thing, they think that uh, we can't get into companies and all. Also, but mm-hmm. if you have only that, but many companies are conducting these hackathons and all, and they are recruiting through that too, so they have good scope there too. And yeah, how to manage these two also is another big question every student has. So because of that, they stop competitive programming and going on other side. Otherwise, they stop that and completely be on this side. And competitive programming, it takes some time. Like initially, we have to give it some time. However, on the first go, anyone will not get it. We have to go on doing it. And the other thing, many people check while doing competitive programming is getting a solution is the first thing. But what I feel is understanding what's going on and coding that is the secondary thing. First, we have to understand like what's going on. After that, putting it into code is not that difficult thing. We can learn that. But first, we have to understand the concept. Uh, without understanding the concept, if we go on board, I think it will be difficult for everyone. So, and having discussion with friends regarding the solutions, not in the form of like coding thing, like we are writing a far group, we are writing a condition, mm-hmm. not in that way, but in the like, yeah, what is the logic there? Having discussions will help us. Brilliant, brilliant. What is one message you would want to give your juniors who are, who are probably just starting out, who are probably confused whether they want to get into this or not want to get into this? What What is one message you'd want to give to your juniors? Yeah. Okay. My message is like, don't aim for a company. If you have skills, automatically you'll be getting a company. And there are many companies and there are many openings now. It's not an issue. First, if we have the skills, then we can get it automatically. You can even get a your dream company in your four to even. Like in photo also, then you can give the interviews and you can get selected through referrals. If you have the skills, the company employees also can give you referrals. You can reach out to them. So it's not an issue to get the interview, but you have to be prepared for that. So now itself, don't be in a panic that you have not got a job and your friends have got a job. Yeah, first we have to learn thing and then we can get the job. Brilliant. You know, at the start of this, you mentioned something about you know development, and you you're working on like Python for backend, uh, you know, web technologies and so on. Could you tell uh, or could you share a little bit about some projects uh, that you've done, and you know, what are the kind of project questions that you were asked in the technical interview? Okay, so first, uh, when I have started this uh, thing is in my first year holidays, I guess. I was just checking something on the net and I have found that there is something called HTML, CSS for websites and all. Yeah, I have searched that and yeah, I was free so I thought of doing some pages and I was just styling them and doing some things in my first year holidays. And when coming to second year, actually in our college we have hobby project kind of thing. So as what I have thought is something website I have tried and I have little knowledge on that. Like what is it? I might not have the knowledge but I have some little knowledge. So I thought of trying it on app side and my uh, friends, like we will be working on teams, right? So my friends also wanted to try it on app. So we thought of doing an Android app. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, like a medicine reminder and also like uh, giving some of the medicines for common diseases and organs for some mm-hmm. symptoms. Yeah, we have done a small app kind of thing for that. 
and then I have worked on two IoT projects too. Yeah, that uh, we have done it. And then I have worked on one or two ML projects. And then uh, in my JBMC internship, I have done a website for an NGO using Python framework, Python Django framework. Yeah. So when coming to interviews in Amazon, I have not got to any of the project these things. But in Flipkart, yeah, they have asked me about my internship uh, project. And yeah, the kind of questions which I feel they will be asking is first for doing a website, why did you choose only that framework? And if I have selected MySQL database, why only that? Why only you have selected structure and why not unstructured one? Yeah, we have to give the reason for that. And then I found out three, uh, like in what way you'll be selecting the projects, like uh, for learning purpose, how many projects you have done, and really for some useful, useful business purpose, did you do anything? Like, are anyone using that now? And how, did you try optimizing it? Like, uh, have you seen any of the features? Like, uh, we say, right? in what time it's responding or yeah have you tried any optimizations on the website yeah those type of questions i have seen yeah these type of questions they are asking me in the yeah. brilliant brilliant uh, th those are all of the sort of serious questions i had for you i'm just going to ask you uh, i'm going to do this thing called a rapid fire round where i'm just going to ask you like okay. five uh, random questions these are more fun questions uh, you have to just reply as soon as possible okay, right. okay. so are you ready yeah Okay, alright. So, what's your favorite programming language? Java. Okay, great. Um, what's your favorite dish to eat? Pani Puri. Pani Puri, amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite book or movie? Harry Potter series. Okay, nice. Yeah. Who's your role model? My mom. Brilliant. And uh, what's your favorite pastime or hobby? Uh, yeah, I, I, we actually have a shop in our house. So whenever I'm whenever I'm free, I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. That's that's interesting. So I just I actually do this rapid fire just to show everybody that you know they get into dream companies, but they also have a life. Also, it's not like they're completely into coding, right? So yeah. there's coding, and then you also have to follow your life, right? So that's that's the thing. So yeah, I mean, uh, any last things you'd want to you know share with everybody here, Sakila? Yeah, nothing. Just don't be tense and do it consistently. Yeah, that will lead to success, of course. Yeah. Okay. Great. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us here today. This was another you know series of Edis Champs. I hope everybody liked it. Thanks a lot, Sakila, for joining. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody.